Hello and welcome to the EEPROM 9. Please forgive the darkness. Oh, hang on, I might be able to do something about that. No, I can't. But the lights need to be down to actually demonstrate this. We have it working. Now, there's some arcing in the um, voltage multiplier circuit down there. And unfortunately, the um, phosphor coating has some rather extreme screen burn. However, I have done some tests, and I'm going to turn this off. And also, hopefully, you guys will see the spark. I'm going to try to hold the camera into position it can focus. I'm hoping the spark came through there. But yeah, basically, what I have got is... I've also wired up some more lights into that, so... Let me just... Um, oh god, what the hell's going on with the focusing of this lens? <laughs> oh god, the focusing's completely buggered on it. It won't, it won't do infinity focus, oh dear. I'm going to have to sort this lens out. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. We just... <laughs> when in doubt, just force it and all is good. So, yeah, that's the focusing issue. So, yeah, we've basically done what we said we are going to do. Which was... Does that mean that stopped working? No, that still works. So, basically, what we've got is a high... Um, CFL uh, inverter from an old scanner in this case just because it was available because a long time ago I actually turned one into a torch and hooked it up to a 9 volt battery but it's actually but the cable snapped off the end of the tube so I thought might as well reuse it hooked it up to the photo multiplier not photo multiplier circuit the voltage multiplier circuit hooked up the tube like I demonstrated in my diagram so what we have done is, if we can focus, is that still goes up and connects to the negative. We deleted all this nonsense and just had this point go up, connected down here, but just go straight up and straight to the front of the tube. So we basically deleted all the um, voltage divide a circuit for measuring and controlling the output. We're not going to worry about that nonsense. We're just interested in driving it in the most crude way possible. So it's got no feedback whatsoever, but it works. And I actually, even though this tube has an intense screen burn, which you can kind of see when it's off, when it's slightly yellow, I just didn't expect it to be that bad, that it will actually work quite nicely and I actually have a new tube arriving um, actually I ordered a new tube for about 20 quid one that's been on for ages and last time I checked it was like crazy money but they were like 35 or something um, <laughs> I think like 25 uh, with best offer so I gave it like a best offer of like 15 pounds and they gave me a counter offer of 20 done deal and it even has a front lens on the front of it already which is fantastic but yeah so what I need to do is pot this little thing in silicon because it keeps arcing to itself and silicon all that up and then figure out a case for that that has to be made out of completely non-conductive materials because this thing will spark an arc to any bit of metal that's near it if I just put this like that it will start sparking to it even though it's not connected to anything. Why? I don't know. I, I don't know. It just does. So, that's a fun little thing. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll either upload this tonight or tomorrow. But, yeah, that's basically an update that this is a project that's actually going somewhere for once. <laughs> Unlike so many of my projects. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I really need to finish my projects.